Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Ndugu zangu wapendwa, 
sisters. Mungu ametuwezesha tena. God has enabled us again. Siku ya Jumatano. It's a Wednesday. Kuyeona tena. To sit again. Ametuleta. He has brought us. Mapingamizi huwa mengi. There are so many hindrances. Ya kukufanya hata usije hapa kanisani. To stop you from coming to church. Lakini Mungu wa mwanzilishi. But God of the founder. Ameondoa kila kikwazo. Has removed all the obstacles. Na lengo uja usikilize. And the idea is to come and listen. Maana yeye tayari ameweka neno. Because he has already prepared a word. Kwa ajili yetu jioni ya leo. Because of us this evening. Tupate kushikia. So that we may hear. Hivyo wewe tarajia. Therefore expect. Bwana Mungu ana neno. Because God has a word. Ameliweka kwa ajili yako na yangu. Has put because of you and I. Tusikilize. Let's listen. Mimi nakwambia kila siku. I tell you every day. Wewe ukija kanisani. Once you come to church. Kuwa pamoja na mhubiri. Be together with the preacher. Mimi nikisimama hapa. When I stand here. Na kuhimiza. I'm urging you umfuate mhubiri to follow the preacher anaenda wapi where is he going anaenda wapi where is he heading to anaenda wapi where is he heading enda na yeye go with him tembea na yeye walk with him mungu anasema god says hutakosa thawabu yako you won't lack your reward hutakosa thawabu yako you won't lack your reward mimi nashangaa sana i'm so much surprised yule mwanamke kwa nini alikuwa anatupa mbuga that woman anatupa ramli she was so saying lakini but Ajabu akiona Paulo na sina ndio hawa. Suddenly when she sees Paul, tayari ameacha uganga wake. Already she stops her physicism. Anatoka anainua Mungu wa Paulo. She believes the hand of God of Paul. Anasema, she say, watu hawa, these people, ni watumishi wa Mungu wa juu. The servants of God who is above. Wa wahubirie watu, that preach to people. Habari za mema. About the good. Alafu anarudi akatupe mbruga. And then she goes back to Sue saying. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Anapoa shilingi yake huko. She's given her coin. Kesho akiona ndio hawa. Tomorrow when she sees them again. Amewacha vyombo vyake. She stops her items. Anakuja kuinua Mungu wa Paulo. Then she comes and appeal the God of watu power. Watu hawa. These people. Ni watumishi wa Mungu wa juu. The servant of God who is above. Wao wapirio watu. That preach to people. Mambo ya wokovu. About the words of salvation. Akafuata hivyo siku nyingi sana. So she did so for so many days. Paulo akashangaa. Follow some. Bwana huyu ana shetani. Why this one de- demon possessed? Na anainua Mungu wetu. But she's uplifting our God. Moyo wake ukasikitika. Akasikitika yule Paulo. Paul was sorrowful. Akakemea yule shetani. And he rebuked the devil. Na saa ile ile. And that very hour. Yule shetani alienda sana. The devil went away. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Bwana ndio. Because shetani alikuwa anamtumia. The devil was using her. Lakini moyo wake. But her heart. Ukaambatana na watu wa Mungu. Was accompanied by the people. Uko pamoja na watu wa Mungu. Was together with the people of God. Yule shetani. The devil. Akaenda zake. Went away. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo ukija kanisani, so once you come to church, kubwa yako wewe. Your biggest assignment. Ni kusikiliza mhubiri anasema nini? To listen to whatever the preacher is saying. Anafundisha nini? What is he teaching about? Anaongoza nini? What is he guiding us in? Tembea na yeye. Walk with him. Mfuate. Follow him. Kule anakoenda. Wherever he is going. Ukitoka hapa, when you leave this place, yale Mungu aliyoyatia ndani yako. Whatever God put in him. Yamekuwa yako. I become yours. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo bila kumpotezea so wakati. Without delaying him. Mnenaji. The speaker. Naomba tuinamishe kichwa chetu. To bow down our heads. Ili tumpe nafasi mapema. So that you may give him an early chance. Baba ninakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu wa mbinguni na nchi. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako bwana ninakushukuru mwokozi mwema kwa ibada njema ambayo umeitayarisha bwana jioni ya leo umeitayarisha Mungu wa mwanzilishi baba ni asante kwa ule ujumbe ambao tayari bwana umeutayarisha kwa ajili ya mioyo yetu ili tuweze kupata kufaidika baba ninakushukuru na ifungua ibada hii miko ndani mwako nikiamini Mungu wa mwanzilishi huko pamoja nasi ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mokozi wetu amen amen asante bwana Yesu kwa hivyo tulia so be calm tulia mahali ulipo become wherever you are mungu anakuja pale pale god is coming right there mungu anatembea na wewe god is walking with you mungu anatembea na wewe god is walking with you karibu pastor rimba welcome pastor rimba karibu welcome huo ni wakati wako this is your time unene na sisi come and talk to us tuambie kila neno tell us every word ambalo mungu anakuhimiza that god is urging you tuambie kila neno tell us every word mungu analokuhimiza god is urging you maana sisi hatujui because we don't know anataka tusikie nini what he wants us to hear karibu sana pastor welcome pastor karibu sana welcome Karibu karibu sana.
Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana wapendwa. Amen. Kwa hivyo jioni njema. Alafu it's a good evening. Mungu wa mwanzilishi amekuleta pamoja. God of the founder has brought us together. Nakulinda amenilinda. Ya sekia do you and I. Hakuna aliyejua atakuwa hapa jioni ya leo. There's no one who knew that you'll be here this evening. Lakini Mungu alijua. But God knew. Maombi ya mtumishi wake Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. By the prayers of his servant Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Tumeokolewa na kila kizuizi. We've been saved and secured from all obstacles. Tumeletwa pamoja. We've been brought together. Yeye ni mwaminifu Mungu wetu. Our God is so faithful. Alisema msiache kukusanyika pamoja. He said you should not forsake assembling together. Na yeye anafanya anafanya bidii yote. Ina. And he's so diligent. Kulinda huku na huku na kule to secure us everywhere. Kutimiza neno lake, fulfilling his idea. Tia nguvu miguu mikono, strengthening our legs and our hands to. Naona umewezeshwa kufika. That's you see you've been enabled to come here. Ni neema yake Mungu wetu. It is his grace our God. Bana alituumbia mema because he created us for good things. Tutende mema to do good works. Alituchagua yeye. He chose us to rithi mema to inherit the good things. Na kama hujayafikia yako njiani anakuja. Even if you have not reached to them, they are still on the way coming to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Na ufalme wa mbinguni. And the heavenly kingdom. Maana hiyo ndio kitu kikubwa tunakitafuta because that is the greatest thing we are looking for duniani upate mema yote on earth you get all good things jenge nyumba nzuri you construct a good house uwe na kila kitu duniani you possess everything on earth ni sawa it's good ni ya duniani hapa those belong to the worldly things kitu kikubwa kitu kikubwa utafute but the greatest thing that you seek na uwe na njaa nacho and be hungry with is the kingdom of our father god ndio tunaotafuta that's what we are seeking for hallelujah hallelujah kwa hivyo neema ya mungu so the grace of god siachi kurudia tu i don't stop repeating that yo kwae watu wote chini ya juu saves all men under the sun imetulinda hapa kama imetuleta pamoja has secured us and brought us together tusome read for us wa Efeso 2:28 Ephesians 2:8 Hakuna awezaye kujivuna there's no one that can boast kwa sababu ya jambo lolote lile because of anything Mehubiri you preached hata watu wameshangaa people are shocked with you dunia nzima the whole world ni kwa neema ya Mungu it's because of the grace of God wewe ni chombo tu mimi ni chombo you are just a vessel <laughs> i to my vessel Nane, mbili, nane, uteremuke hapa. Ephesians 2, 8 downwards. Kwa maana mmeokolewa kwa neema kwa njia ya imani, ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zenu, ni kipawa cha Mungu. Wala si kwa matendo, mtu awe yote asije akajisifu. Maana tu kazi yake tuliumbwa katika Kristo Yesu tutende matendo mema, ambayo tokea awali Mungu aliyatengeneza ili tuenende nayo. For by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them maybe when you are walking wajisikia kila jambo you feel everything Waweza kulifanya vizuri kuliko mwingine. You are so better than the other. Maana umeona dada hao ndugu because a brother or sister anafanya kazi fulani is maybe working somewhere au jukumu fulani maybe a certain responsibility lakini moyoni ukiwaza hivi but in your heart when you think wasema kama ni mimi you feel if it's me ningefanya hivi I would have done it this way nikafanya hivi I would have done it this way a uh a -uh. no atuwezeshaye kutenda mema ni Mungu. Whoever enables us to do good things is God. Anasema hakuna awezaye. He says there's no one who is able. Kufanya kuwezeshwa na Mungu. We are being enabled by God. 
Ndio Mungu akasema tuhesabiane bora. That's why God said we should esteem each other better. Kila mtu na mwenzake. Everybody. Amen. Amen. Tuhesabiane bora. That we esteem each other better. Maana lolote jema. Because anything good. Lolote la kupendeza. Anything pleasant. Lolote la amani. Anything that put. Lolote la utukufu. Anything that glorifies God. Wanadamu afanyalo. That a human being does. Ni kwa neema ya Mungu. It's because of the grace of God. Kwa elimu yako. Not because your knowledge. Au kwa ujuzi wako. Or maybe your skills too. Maana tuliumbwa. Because you are created. Tutende matendo mema. To do good works. Basi kama tuliumbwa tutende matendo mema. So if you are created to do good works. Usikate tamaa wale usivunjike moyo. No despair, don't give up. Maana wengine wameweza. Because others have managed. Na wewe hujaweza. And you are not yet. Wale waliwezeshwa. They were enabled. Na ukaamini aliyewezesha wale. And should you believe in whoever enable them? Kuingia kwa mema yale. To get to those good things. Aliyewezesha wale. Whoever enable them. Kutenda mema yale. To do those good works. Na mimi nami ataniwezesha. He will enable me too. Na Mungu akuone unataka. And God to see you wanting. Maana tutiai nguvu kufanya mema ni Mungu. Because whoever strengthens to do good things Basi is God. Basi mbona tamaa na kuvunjika moyo? Why should you give up and despair? Muombe Mungu. Pray to God. Tujalie amani kama ya wengine. Enable ili. me peace like other people. Atakupa. He'll give you. Na sote tuwana wa Mungu. And we are the sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Usikate tamaa wala kuvunjika moyo. Do not despair or even faint. Kuona mimi nitafika lini kwa mema? Asking yourself how, when will you reach good things? Zile. Those blessings how will I reach Itafika them? kwa mema yale. How will I reach those good things? Wale waliofika huko those who have managed to reach there. Zao, know their strength. Ni Mungu aliwafikisha huko. It is God who have made them to reach there. Katika Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. In our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Basi na wewe nao ukaamini. So you too should you believe? Utafika huko. You will reach there. Maana tulitoa mema. Because you are called for good things. Tuwe na maisha ya tumaini siku za mwisho. That we should have life of hope in the Do end. Mungu wetu anasema. That's how God says. Na wazia mema. I'm thinking good of you. Tuwe na tumaini siku za mwisho. That you should have hope in the end days. Tena anasema mahali pengine. And again he says another place. Here mwisho wa neno kuliko mwanzo. Here mwisho wa neno. The end is better than the beginning. Kuliko mwanzo. Than the beginning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matatizo yako. Your problem. Viki iko anguish is there lakini umwamini bwana Yesu but you believe in the lord jesus aokoaye watu wote that saves all men aliyekuumba who created you utende mema to do good works uwe na amani to love peace umwamini yeye and believe in him kesho nao utakuwa nayo today you'll have it nilichoko ni kujifunza what is this to learn wale walifikaje how did them waliaminije how did they believe na Yesu Kristo hajabadilika baba. Because Jesus Christ has not changed. Yeye yeah, yule jana is still the same yesterday na leo na milele. And today and forever. Kuchelewa kupata kitu delaying in getting something si kwamba umekosa. Doesn't mean that you've missed it. Lakini silaha but the weapon je unaamini? Do you believe kwamba Mungu anaweza hilo? God is able to do that. Kwamba Mungu anaweza kuniokoa na hili? If God is able to save me na from this. Na kwamba Mungu anaweza kuniokoa na hili? And God is able to save me from this too. Wakaenda mbio watu wawili They vikofu. went very fast to blind yes, men. Yesu mwana wa Daudi turehemu. Jesus the son of David have mercy yes, upon us. Yesu mwana wa Daudi turehemu. Jesus the son of David have mercy upon us. Wakaingia nyumba ya jirani. They went to the neighbor's house. Wakaingia humo. They got inside. Bwana Yesu turehemu. The Lord Jesus have mercy upon us. Akawaambia mwataka niwafanyie nini? What do you want me to do to you? Je, mnaamini ninaweza kufanya hilo? Do you believe that I'm able to Waka do that? Na, then say na, yes, we believe. Kwa imani yenu mpate. Through your faith receive. Wewe mtu anapata kwa imani yake. So yake. one receive through his faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akawauliza. He asked them. Je, mnaamini? Do you believe mimi naweza kufanya hili? I'm able to do this. Hii macho yenu hii mnaamini naweza kuyafunga. Your eyes Do you believe that I can still Waka make you recover your sight? They said yes. Okay, get through your faith. Kwa hivyo kupata ni imani yako. So receiving through your faith. Ujaliwe moyoni kuamini. Should be enabled in your heart to believe. Si kwa uzamani wako. Not because of your old age in church. Yako. Your faith. Imani ndio barabara. The faith is the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo usikate tamaa kwa sababu umechelewa mema. Don't Don't give up because you've delayed to get good things. Kwa sababu na mambo magumu maishani. Because you have so many difficult things in your life. Mungu alituitia mema. God call us for good things. Tuwe na maisha ya tumaini siku za mwisho. have life of hope in the end days. Kilichoko nuo amini. What is there for you to believe? 
Mungu atafanya kazi. God will work. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Atafanya kazi. He will work. Tusomee tena hapo. Read for us again the same verse. Tumeokolewa kwa neema. We were saved through grace. Kwa njia ya imani. Through the way of faith. Ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zetu. never came from our souls. Ni kipawa cha Mungu. It is a gift of God. Kule kuamini ni kipawa cha Mungu. Believing is a gift of God. Hata hapo unaweza kumuomba Mungu. You can pray to God. Nijalie ni kipawa cha imani. Enable me to have the power of faith to believe in your son Jesus because he says the gift of god that faith is the gift of god you are saved through faith that never came from somebody's soul it is the gift of god you can pray to god even this evening god grant me i'm filled with fear and worries Mana sijapata kipawa chako cha moyo uaminio. I not got your gift of Sida ijapo nimejaa wasiwasi. When the problem comes I'm full of worries. Mtu wa kutegemea akili zangu. I depend on my knowledge. Nategemea nafsi yangu. I depend on my soul. Mana sijapata kipawa cha kuamini. Because I've not got that gift to believe. Haleluya. Haleluya. Maana wewe ulisema because you say wokovu salvation unapatikana kwa njia ya imani is found in the way of faith na imani and faith ni kipawa chako Mungu is your gift god haitokani na nafsi ya mtu it doesn't come from anybody's Mungu soul Mungu nipe kipawa then god give me that power cha kuamini Yesu kwamba ni bwana to believe that Jesus is the lord na wewe ulim, ulimfufua kutoka kaburini and you resurrected him from the tomb Mana anasema because he says when we pray for anything according to his word according to his word as it says atafanya he will do it hallelujah hallelujah atafanya he will do it so when you pray according to his word he will do it read for us 28 downwards kwa maana mmeokolewa kwa neema kwa njia ya imani ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zenu ni kipawa cha Mungu wala si kwa matendo mtu awaye yote asije akajisifu maana tukazi yake tuliumbwa katika Kristo Yesu tutende matendo mema ambayo ha, ambayo tokea awali Mungu ali yatengeneza ili tuenende nayo for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God Not of works lest any man should boast. We are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Amen. Amen. Tamini nimepata maombi hapa. I've got a prayer here. Kumuomba Mungu praying to God anipe kipawa cha imani to grant me the gift of faith. Isiwe yule I should not be that one. Depends to save himself through his skills, through his knowledge. But through faith, which is a gift of God. Not because your knowledge. Not because your old age is salvation. Not because you saved yesterday. It is a gift of God to believe. Hata aliyekuja leo the one who has come today akajaliwa kuamini moyoni be enabled to believe in his heart Mungu amjalie kipawa cha imani God to enable him the gift of Utaona muujiza unafanyika kwako You see a miracle happening to you Mimi ni wa zamani humu I'm so old here Ana ubiriwa kila siku Ana being preached to every day Na mbona sioni ishara pale na see any sign there and there Kitu umekosa What you are lacking ni kipawa cha imani is the gift of faith Haleluya Haleluya Wategemea akili zako You depend on your knowledge na ujuzi wako wa kusema vizuri maneno yako and you understanding the way you share your affairs ndio Mungu anasema ongamenze dhambi zenu nini kwa nini nakuombeana God says that you should confess your sins Una and pray for each other kabisa. you are so diligent nani, in that nani haki kabisa and it's very right for you to do that lakini tena uwe na kipawa cha imani but again you should have this gift of faith si kuungama alafu wategemea kule kuungama kwako no just kwa. confessing and depending on your confession kuungama kwa ndamane na kipawa cha imani should be accompanied by the gift Ndiyo of faith Mungu atafanya kazi doesn't God will work So you should not depend your confession. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You confessed all sins fine. But you may see God is not working. Because you depend on your confession. You don't believe in the Lord Jesus. That he 
he resurrected is alive na hati hati alifuta pale msalabani and the certificate of accusation he arrested mwamini yeye aliyefuta hati hati you believe in him who arrested the certificate wa jiamini wewe kule na kwa kuzuri you believe in your sharing kwamba ndiko kumefuta hiyo hati that's what is arrested mwamini yeye aliyefuta hiyo hati you should believe in him who arrested the certificate of accusation hizo dhambi zako za kufuata bado that's why your sins are still with you haleluya haleluya amen amen ndio mnaona wengi mka na sana kila jumapili so many here in church every sunday hata mhubiri upumziki every even a preacher is not resting kila jumapili ukuhubiri wa mkeki every sunday when you preach there kila jumapili ukuhubiri wa mkeki every time you preach there there kila jumapili every sunday una umehubiri you preached tena ushinde mpaka saa 12 and then you stay until na jumapili jaye watu ni hao and the following sunday there are the same people jaye watu ni hao the following sunday there are the same people wamekosa kipawa cha imani the lack this gift of faith wanategemea akili zao they depend on their knowledge na ujuzi wao wa kuambia pasta maneno yao and they are skilled to share their issues to the preacher wanasema mimi sikulenga vile ilivyohubiriwa na Jesus na hubiri yule i'm not aimed at the way it was preached but today you have really targeted leo umeenda vile ambavyo sijasikia target the way i never heard they depend on their understanding mimi nawaita waongo i'm calling them liars i don't stay with them amen amen Naambia aende ukaombe sasa. Acha you go and pray. Kama leo umesikia vizuri kuliko jana. Leo today like Aya, yesterday. Umeokoka. Okay you are safe. Aenda mwambie Mungu asante. Go and tell God thank you. Haleluya. Haleluya. Turudie tena kuna wokovu. Repeat the same the salvation there. Tunafanya kazi ngumu makanisani. We are doing very hard work in churches. Watu ambao wangekomaa wako waleta washirika kila Jumapili. People that could be bring fresh they are the same people who come. wamekosa kipawa cha imani. Because they lack the gift of faith wametegemea ujuzi na depend in their knowledge and understanding. Nasema twaokolewa kwa neema si but kwa matendo ya Mungu. We are saved because of the grace not because you understand. Kwa njia ya imani. It's the way of faith. Waamini dhambi zangu Bwana Yesu amezifuta. You should believe that God Jesus arrest all your sins. Hati aliifuta. The certificate of accusation he arrested and nailed to the cross. Na shirikisha ili upate maarifa. Sh- I'm sharing to you so that you may get the proof. Waamini zimechukuliwa. But one should believe they've been taken away. Na Yesu amefuta dhambi zangu. And Jesus has erased my sins. Toka kwa jina la Yesu. The devil get out in the name of Jesus. Nimepona kwa jina la Yesu. I've been healed in the name of Jesus. Lakini akitoka pale, but when you leave there, akisikia kuwashwa anasema ile dhambi yangu feel any irritation you say that the sin is back. Maybe I never shared very well. Kesho akihubiriwa tena. Today when he's preached to, he has gone back to the gone back in the seat again. Amekosa kipawa cha imani. He has lacked the gift of faith. Anategemea haki yake. He depends his right. Bible inasema si kwa haki yake mtu. Not because of your right. Ni kipawa cha Mungu. It's the gift of God. Mtu asije akajisifu. Let's to one should boss. Kama mimi ni wa ajabu. That I'm so mighty. Kama nimhubiriwa ajabu. Ajabu ya wapi? I'm a wonderful preacher. Tunaokolewa kwa neema. We are saved because of the grace. Tusomee. Read for us. Kwa maana mmeokolewa kwa neema kwa njia ya imani ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zenu ni kipawa cha Mungu wala si kwa matendo mtu awaye yote asije akajisifu maana tukazi yake tuliumbwa katika Kristo Yesu tutende matendo mema ambayo tokea awali Mungu aliyatengeneza ili tuenende nayo for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them amen amen eh hata mimi naokoka hapo sasa i'm saved because of this mungu anjalie i pray that god should enable me kipawa cha imani the gift of faith hallelujah hallelujah ndio mimi nakusudia kila saa that's why i testify to you every time nienda vok hapa i want to vok what hao wanajua mashauri hapa they know how na kwengine kwengine and speaking everything haya nikakaa na ndugu mmoja so i sat with one brother akaongama vizuri he confessed very well lakini akasema but again he said nikamuuliza swali i asked him a question haya maana hujasikia tamu kuokoka asema whatever haven't you have this word since you are saved Nayasikia, lakini wewe I hear them but you vile umeyazungumza the way you preach them eh onekana mtumishi wa Mungu maana unekea mzungu then it's the servant of God maana unekea mzungu ah ni roho amemwongosha it's go it's the spirit that has guided him maana wewe vile nakuona because the way i see you umeena mwingine hajanena na hivi you ah. preach the way any other person has ang- never preached and when i see mimi ni nani na ni kama nani 
Kunako walio tangulia. That those who came fast. Wajuao kufundisha na know how to teach. Kushauri watu. And counsel people. Na wamekua hapa. And they've been there. Ela mimi leo ndiyo mimi ndi mimi wamejisi. I'm the one who's of wonders. Ukajua huyu. I knew this one. Ukamwekea alama ya kuulisi. I put there a question mark. Anataka nijivune. He wants me to boast. Niseme hapo hakuja kuja wahubiri. I said there's no preacher that has ever come here. Kumekua hapo wahubiri wa bidi. So many preachers, diligent preachers have been there. Mwengine hata una mashaura ata kuambia njo. One in the counseling will tell you come. Wanini jana ni ubiri siku kuona. Why did I preach yesterday and never saw you? Ela mimi leo ndiyo mimi ni meena mambo yote. So today I'm the one who has spoken everything. Hapa kwetu anasema kione tembe iche kudogo. Uongo. It's a lie. Amen. Amen. Uone, unaingiza wapi? Hawa utapiba goli. See how you gamble. Mwengine alienda hapa Samburu. One went to Samburu. Watu ndio wanzinishi wa kanisa. They were the founders of the church. Siku hiyo za missionaries. During the era of missionaries. Akaji akasema missionary. He said missionary. Ah, leo wakofu umengia Samburu. Salvation has gone to Samburu. Why? I've prayed for the prayer of repentance to all people. Everybody. I've prayed for them the prayer of repentance, all of them. Okay, let's wait for the salvation. Amen. Amen. These are people who have lacked the gift of faith. When they see a new preacher, that's why they feel like they should start afresh. I insulted my father, I insulted my father too. Even the other time when they confessed and repented, they never put in faith. They depended on their confession. But peace that Jesus took it away. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Inaweza kuchukuliwa hata uko barabarani dhambi yako. It can be taken even if you are on the way walking because you've been a neighbor repentance in your heart. The repentance of faith. Sasa hata unashirikisha. Now maybe you have shared fine. Unashirikisha kupata marifa. You are shaking so that you may get the prudence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mana umejaliwa toba ya imani. Because you've been enable the repentance of faith. That's why you should so Shetana much observe. The devil can give you very hard work until you feel like you are the best preacher than others. But tomorrow, look at these people. Are they progressing? These people, are they progressing tomorrow? Why when you go there and go back, they are still the same. You pray to them. Go to enable them Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There should not be people who depend on their understanding and enable the gift of faith in their heart. That Christ, the certificate of accusation that the devil is accusing us from, the Lord arrested. Get out in, in front of me. Through the strikes of Jesus have been healed. He says, one who confirms he's so faithful and righteous, he will remove all our sins. And again, he's cheerful. That thing to be created in everybody's heart, the young and the elderly, in the church of God, God will work very mighty works. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. People to be enabled the faith which is the gift of God. There's no one that is able to create for himself that gift without God him who calls. And he asked them do you believe that I'm able to do this? They say yes. Read for us the book of Matthew 9.27. Matayo tisa. Matthew 9. Shiri na saba wendeleha. 27 downwards. Yesu alipokuwa akipita kutoka huko, vipofu wawili wakamfuata, wakipaza sauti wakisema, uturehemu mwana wa Daudi. Na ye alipofika nyumbani, wale vipofu walimwendea. Yesu wakamuambia, Munaamini kwamba naweza kufanya hili wakamwambia naam bwana ndipo alipowagusa macho akasema 
kwa kadri ya imani yenu mpate macho yao yakafumbuka naye Yesu akawaagiza kwa nguvu akisema angalieni hata mtu mmoja asijue lakini hata wacha hapo tu and when Jesus departed thence two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david have mercy on us and when he was come into the house the blind men came to him and Jesus said unto them believe ye that i am able to do this they said unto him ya lord then touched he their eyes saying according to your faith be it unto you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata bwana Yesu mwenyewe naye The Lord Jesus himself Asemi kwa imani yangu poneni. He doesn't say because of my faith be healed. Ni bwana Yesu kweli. He is the Lord. Ndiye mwana wa Mungu. He is the son of God. Lakini anasema What is saying? Je, mnaamini kwamba Do you believe that? Mimi naweza kufanya hili? I'm able to do this. Wakasema naam. They said yes Lord. Aya kwa imani yenu. Okay through your faith. Pateni. Receive Macho yakafunguka kwa. The eyes were open. Kwa imani ya through their faith. Haleluya. Haleluya. Si kwa imani yangu. Not because of my faith. Na wewe unaweza unaombea watu wengi. Maybe you've prayed for so many people. Lakini unataka wapone kwa imani yako. And you want them to be healed through Mana your faith. Na mimi nakipawa cha kuombea watu na kupona. Because I have the power to pray for people. Oh. Unakipawa wewe cha kuombea watu na kupona. You have the gift of praying to people to be healed. Ni huyu mtu amejaliwa kipawa cha Mungu cha kuamini. Is this one this person to be enable the gift of God to believe. Yale ya Yesu aliyomwambia. Whatever Jesus si told. Kwa sababu wewe una kipawa cha Mungu cha kuponya. Not because you have the gift of we, God we to heal people. kama nani? Who are you healing? Aponya like, ni Bwana Yesu. The one who heals the Lord Jesus. Ndio anasema Bwana Yesu mahali pengine. That's why the Lord Jesus says in one point. Sisi hatujihubiri wenyewe. We don't preach about our own. Bali Kristo kwamba ni Bwana. But Christ to be the Lord. Unaweza kuwa mhubiri na jihubiri mwenyewe. You may be a preacher who is preaching about Mimi your own issues. When I pray for somebody he must be healed. Even if he wants to wewe, the one who believes in you. Wakati wewe huko imani hawana kwa Yesu. Yet when you are there they don't have faith in God. Ukiondoka wanatetemeka mhubiri wewe. They are trembling, they are trembling. The Jeshi preacher is going. Should the prayer come? Je, jambo hili likaja nita How will I be saved? Maana umewaaminisha wewe si Kristo. Because made them to believe in you not the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini ukiwaaminisha bwana Yesu should you make them believe in the Lord Jesus? Wajaliwe kipawa cha imani. You'll be enabled the gift of faith. Ambacho ni kipawa cha Mungu. Which is the gift of God. Amen. Amen. Tatokana na Mungu. That comes from God. Hata huko hata wako wapi? Wherever the, you are. Diki kija. When anguish comes, wanaamini Yesu. They believe Jesus ni bwana. Is the Lord. Na moyoni wanaamini ya kwamba they believe that Mungu alimfufua kutoka wapi? God resurrected him from death. Wanaokoka hata wakiwa mjini mwao. Even in your absence. Lakini umewaaminisha wewe. But you made them believe in you. Ukisema haya mimi ni amani naenda kwetu. I'm going to my place. Wanasema yeye mhubiri wetu ameenda. They ask them say okay our preacher has gone away. Hata shida ikija wanasema. Even if the problem is coming they are trembling. When will the preacher come? Sijui nikapata na shida sijui nani atakaye. The problem come upon me who will pray for me? And Jesus said pray. Nani mtapata? And you will receive. Nani mtapata? And you will receive. And you will receive. Tafuteni seek nanyi mtaona and will see bisheni knock nanyi mtafunguliwa and it shall be open unto you who are they hasemi wahubiri ombeni he doesn't say the preacher to pray you who yes. believe that Anasema jesus is able utapata. pray you receive bisha utafunguliwa knock it will be open unto you tafuta utaona seek and you'll see hallelujah hallelujah hasemi mhubiri omba utapata he doesn't say that you the preacher should pray Wewe you receive waminie You who believes that Christ is the Lord and God risen, rose him from death you will be saved whether you are on the farm whether you are in your place at home amen amen you will pray for your child and you will be healed because you believe Christ is the Lord Pastor Jana yesterday preached some work came to my home the child was in this condition Lakini, but I prayed to him in the name of Jesus and the devil was defeated he's outside walking Christians who don't mature hallelujah 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 whom faith is not greater than 
He's not able to testify to his colleagues. Every time they are young. Wanatupwa na huku na huku na shetani. everywhere by the devil. Maana hawajapata kipawa cha Mungu cha imani. Because they've not got the, pa- the gift of God of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini Mungu akikujalia kipawa cha imani. But God should God enable you the gift Moyo of faith. Moyo wa A heart that believes. Una silaha kubwa. You have a very great weapon. Kabisa. Indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tusomee tena hapo hapo. Read for us again the same verse. Yesu alipokuwa akipita kutoka huko vipofu wawili wakamfuata wakipaza sauti wakisema uturehemu mwana wa Daudi naye alipofika nyumbani wale vipofu walimwendea Yesu akawaambia mnaamini kwamba naweza kufanya hili wakamwambia naam bwana ndipo alipowagusa macho akasema kwa kadri ya imani yenu mpate macho yao yakafumbuka and when jesus departed thence two blind men followed him crying and saying thou son of david have mercy on us and when he was come into the house the blind men came to him and jesus said unto them believe me that i am able to do this they said unto him ya lord then touched he their eyes saying according to your faith be it unto you hallelujah hallelujah ndoweza kuwa ndugu dada ushaidi mzuri kabisa brother or sister lakini katika ushuhuda wako but in your testimony unataka watu wakuamini wewe you want people to believe in you si kristo yesu not christ jesus Doctor no naomba watu hawapati. Sasa you see you're praying for people but they are not receiving anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hawafikii mema ya Mungu. They don't reach to the good of God. Tashangaa na mbona shida sawa ni sisi. You why Mana, their problems start there. Because Mama. you don't make them believe in Jesus. Kuhubiri Yesu. You don't preach about Jesus. Unajihubiri wewe. You are preaching about your Una own. Unajishuhudia wewe. You are testifying about your own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uonekane ni waajabu. That you should be seen wonderful. Hapana. No. Kubiri Yesu. Preach about Jesus. Watu waamini Bwana Yesu. People to believe in the Lord Jesus. Kwamba yeye ni Bwana. That is the Lord. Ayuko kaburini tena. He's no longer the tomb. Waamini yeye. They should believe Kwamba in him. Zao, their sins. Yesu alizifuta. The Lord Jesus arrested them. Pale msalabani. On the cross. Akaigongomea hata hatia pale msalabani. And the certificate of accusation he nailed it on the cross. Wakipewa kuamini hiyo. When they are given to believe that. Hata shetani akaja akamwambia wewe una lana kubwa na Even if the devil comes and tells you you have a very big ass that say you're not him. Shetani. They should oppose the devil. Shetani toka. The devil get away. Bwana Yesu. The Lord Jesus. Hatia hatia unanishtakia. The certificate of accusation that you're accusing me with. He arrested on the cross. Na akaigongomea pale msalabani. And he nailed it on the cross. Amen. Amen. Hati hati certificate of accusation he arrested and nailed it on the cross. Na kwa kupigwa kwake mimi ni strikes. healed. Yesu huko They'll confess Jesus wherever they go. Ya nyo ya. From their hearts. Na utaona Bwana Yesu wanafanya kazi pamoja na wao. And you see Jesus working them. Wawe njia kwenda chota maji. Wherever they go even to fetch water. Wawe mjini mwao. Whether in their homes. Wawe mashuleni. Whether in schools. Wawe mashambani. Whether in farms. Bwana Yesu atafanya kazi. The Lord Jesus will work. Because in their hearts they've been enabled the gift of God to believe Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what saved me. I would have died because of asthma. I was meant to reach a point. To some percentage I was enabled to believe, believe that you go. You never call me to die of disease of cancer. And the way I was meant to reach. Truly I recognize that one can die before your days. I was taken to the end the wall. Did I hit it? But the Lord enabled me through the prayers of his servant the gift of faith. Even if it means dying, you don't know the devil. Whoever knows is God. How can you tell me I won't see the new year? Whoever knows my hour is God. You are given the power upon this body. But you are told not to tell the soul. How can you tell me that the soul, my soul will not be touched? And you don't have the authority upon the soul of a human being. You are told to touch everywhere, but my soul you can't touch it. Amen. Amen. 
Umegusa kifua changu. You've touched my chest. Na wapi lakini roho unamwambia but my spirit. Wanaambiaje sitaona mwaka mpya? How do you tell me I won't see the new year? Siku yote amini kufa na magonjwa. I was not called to die from the disease. Mimi niliombewa because I've been prayed for. Hata mhudhuru wangu sasa amekuja nyumbani kwangu. The last preacher has come to my place. Mashetano anasema umefanya makosa. And then the devil was saying you've done. Haka amekuja nyumbani kwako. He has come to your place. Saa 11 at 5 ndio basi huoni sasa. That's when you won't see the new year. Ndio Paulo akafika mahali akasema Paul said ile imani ulionayo the faith you have uwe nayo katika nafsi yako should be in your own soul si kwa mwingine not together with your baba yako kwa mkeo not in your father your wife kwa mhudhuri wako maybe in your preacher uwe nayo na you should have it in your soul kwamba Kristo ni bwana that Christ the lord haiko kaburini tena is no longer in the tomb yuko hai he's alive pamo alifufuka he is again pamoja nasi together with us yuko hai he's alive Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Je, ni wewe unajihubiri mwenyewe? Are you the one who is preaching about your own? Watu wakushangae. People to be amazed with you. Sasa ukiondoka wanashindwa. So when you leave that place they are shocked. Hata mwana anahoma wanashindwa. Even if the child is sick, they are, they are to, how will he start praying? Mwana hawana imani iliyo. Because they don't have the faith in Jesus. Imani wanayo lakini ndani ya nafsi ya mwingine. faith but in somebody's soul. Wana imani ndani ya pastor Tasia. They have faith in the preacher not in Sipa Jesus. Yesu not in Jesus Christ. Watatafuta hata nusu kwa wao. They seek around even the whole night. Na ni mwili moto tu nayo. But all this. Amen. Amen. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ambapo hata kanyosha mkono kwa jina la Yesu. Even if they stretch your hands in the name of Jesus. Kwa sauti kule moyoni. You need to say it so loud in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maana kinachofanya kazi ni ile imani. Because what works is the faith. Yaani tulikuwa tunalala kule nyumbani. Sasa we are sisters at home. We had the dog. watoto pale wengine. We have kids there. Mshemegi na mwingine ni wangu. Wengine ni washemegi. Some of my in-laws. Wengine ni mjukuu wangu wa kimsichana wa mkubwa wangu. Children. Na mwingine ni msichana wa And one is the daughter to my neighbor. Mungeni akasema anakoa koa. Once said started coughing coughing. Ndio nisa mama nani huyu anayekoa. Say my wife who is that coughing? It's so and so. Kule moyoni nikanyosha mkono kwa rumu yao. I stretch my hand to their chamber. Mwana huyu apate usingizi. That child should get good sleep. Hata si kusema kwa sauti. I never said it loudly. Is my wife. Hata akusikia anawaamba mimi nisa mkono huko tu. I just stretch my heart my hand in my heart. Zi akalala. She kept quiet and slept. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tusome read for us. Wa hapo hapo Mathayo alafu tuje kwa Matthew wa Korintho wa pili ine tano. Then we go to Corinthians second Musoe Corinthians. Musoe watu wenyewe wa dada na wa ndugu. We should not be people preach about your own. Muhubirini Kristo. Preach about Christ. Kwamba ni Bwana. That is the Lord. Na kwamba yuko hai. That is alive. Hayuko kaburini tena. He's no longer in the tomb. Yeye ni Bwana wa wote, He's wenye the Lord mili. of all with the body. Hakuna gumu asiloliweza. There's nothing impossible to him. Kwaamini. To those who believe. Na yeye anasema, and he says, ishara hizi, all these signs zinapatana, will follow. Na wale waamini. Those who believe. Kwa jina langu, in my name, watatoa pepo. They'll cast out demons. Tena, and again, watasema, they'll speak kwa lugha mpya. In new tongues. Wa Korintho wa pili ine, tano. Can Corinthians 4 Kwa maana hatujihubiri wenyewe, bali Kristo Yesu ya kuwa ni Bwana, na sisi wenyewe tuwatumishi wenu kwa ajili ya Yesu. Hebu endelea. Kwa kuwa Mungu aliyesema Nuru itangaa gizani ndiye aliyeng'aa moyoni mwetu mioyoni mwetu atupe nuru ya elimu ya utukufu wa Mungu katika uso wa Yesu Kristo yes. for we preach not ourselves but Christ Jesus the Lord and ourselves your servants for Jesus sake for God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anasema, he says, kwa maana sisi hatujihubiri wenyewe. Because we don't preach about our own selves. Bali Kristo ya kuwa ni Bwana. But Christ as the Lord. Na sisi and us to wenyewe ourselves. Kuwa tuwatumishi wenu that we are your servants. Kwa ajili ya Yesu. Because of Jesus. 
Kwa kuwa Mungu alisema nuru itangaa gizani. God said that light will shine in darkness. Sasa ndiye aliyeng'aa mioni mwetu. That is the same that shining in our hearts. Tupe nuru ya elimu ya utukufu wa Mungu. Give us the light of the glory of God. Katika Kristo Yesu. In Christ Jesus. Atujuhubiri wenyewe sisi. We don't preach about ourselves. Kwamba tunaweza. That we are able. Maana tunaokolewa kwa neema. Because we are saved through grace. Kwa njia ya imani. The way of faith. Ambayo Nikipao cha Mungu is the gift of God. Hakuna jitu aliyewe mwenyewe jambo hilo. No one that can create for himself. Nikipao cha Mungu. It is the gift of God. Kwa hiyo tukimwomba Mungu ajione ya leo. So when we pray to God this evening. Mungu anijalie kipao cha imani. God enables us the gift of faith. Sio yule ategemea akili zake. Not be that one who depends on his Wala knowledge. Sio yule ajihubirie mwenyewe. I should not be that one who preach about himself. Ana anajitudia mwenyewe. Uh, maybe unijalie kipao cha imani. Enable me the gift of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Moyo uaminie kweli. The heart that believes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wenye hakika ya kwamba those who are sure that Christ is Bwana, Christ the Lord, ndio nuru iliyong'aa gizani katika mioyo yetu that shined in darkness in our hearts. Kila mmoja apewe kuamini hivyo. Everyone should be given to muku, believe in that. Kwa mdogo. The young and the elderly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Utaona Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu. See Jesus Christ the son of God. Anafanya kazi katika kanisa. He's working in Nimi his church. Wonders and miracles happen. Watu wamejaliwa kipawa. Because people have been enabled the gift. Kumwamini Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Believing Jesus the son of God. Kama ni bwana Mungu wa wote wenyewe. The Lord of all with the body and the flesh. Alikufua Lazarus kutoka kaburini. He resurrected Lazarus from the grave. Ameoza siku ya 4. He has He has decayed for the four days. Je, kuoza kwangu huku? My decaying. Na kuoza kwangu huku? And my rotting here. Na mimi hata niko wazi sijafa. I'm alive. I've not Kituwa died. Lazarus kwanza alikuwa kaburini siku ya 4. Lazarus was in the grave for four days. Tena uhai ukarudi. And again life came Damu back. Damu zikarudi kutembea. And the blood started flowing back. Je, kiungo changu hiki ambacho kimekufa gani? My organ that is just numb here. Mimi kwanza bado niko hai. And I'm still alive. Haleluya. Haleluya. Kwa muamini huyo huyo aliyemfufua Yesu. You the one who resurrected Lazarus. Kwa kaburini. From the grave. Haleluya. Haleluya. Je, dhiki hii ni nini kwangu? This anguish what is it to me? Watu wapewe kuamini hivyo. People to be enabled to believe in that. Kubwa kwa mdogo. The young and the elderly. Aliyekoka jana aliyekoka jana. The one who was saved yesterday the other day. Hayajali miaka gani? It doesn't matter how old you are. Kipawa cha imani. Be enabled the gift of faith. Ambacho hakuna mtu anaweza kujitumia mwenyewe. That no one can create for himself. It is the gift of so God. So if it is the gift of God, when we pray to Him, He'll give us. And believe that Jesus is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you should not be that one. Tunaejihubiri is preaching about our own selves. So tena hapo hapo. Read for us again the same verse. Are you the one who is preaching Dada about your own self? Brother or sister? Ujihubiri si kwamba wewe mhubiri hata mshirika. Not only a preacher, not even mama kushuhudia ndugu. When you are sent to testify to a brother, wewe ulifanywa muujiza. Because a miracle is done to you. Wataka akuamini wewe kwamba una uwezo wa kumuombea na apone. Him to believe in you that you have the power to pray for him. Au unamwaminisha Yesu Kristo kwamba ni bwana. Or you are making him to believe in the Lord Jesus that is the savior. Haleluya. Haleluya. Wewe watu mnahubiria watu Yesu Kristo kwamba ni bwana. You should be people who pray to others that Jesus Yo, is the Lord. Ndio unapokuwa na wao. That's when you see when you are together them. Basi wanaonekana kupona. They are sure about the healing. Lakini ukiwaacha. But once you leave them, kule mwaona wanashtuka. In their heart they are trembling. Pastor, pastor wangu ameenda. Our preacher he's going away. Mtafanyaje? What will I do? Je, huyu aliyekuja ataniokoa kweli? The one who has come here will he truly save me? Kama yeye kweli? Will he preach like the other one? kama yeye kweli? Will he pray like the other one mana moyoni because in the heart they don't believe in Christ wanakuamini wewe they believe in you haleluya haleluya lakini wale wa muamini kristo but those who believe in Christ hata wanasikia amani kwa in fact they feel peace mana hata wala lapa wanajua Yesu Kristo yuko pamoja nami because they know even in your absence hata Jesus Christ together hata wanatembea hapo wanaamani kwamba Yesu Kristo bwana yuko when they nami. walk they have peace that Jesus Christ is together with them wanaamini ni mwitapo mahali popote atakusikia. They believe when he calls he will hear. Maana yeye ni Mungu asiye na upendeleo. Because it's not a respect to God. Utaona wanapata. You see them receiving. Wanakuwa wenye msingi popote walipo. Even in every place they are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio utaona watu wanasema mudri wangu ni fulani. Let's you see people saying my preacher is so and so. Uliombewa ukapata because he prayed for you and you receive. Lakini huyu anahubiri nani? But Who is this one preaching about? He's preaching Jesus to be the Lord. Listen to him. Upata imani kwa Yesu Kristo. Get the faith in Jesus Christ. Maana mambo ni mengi ya kuamini Kristo kwamba ni bwana. Because there are so many things to make you believe in Jesus Christ. Kwa maana hatujihubiri wenyewe bali Kristo Yesu yakuwa ni bwana. 
na sisi wenyewe kuwa tuwatumishi wenu kwa ajili ya Yesu. Kwa kuwa Mungu alisema nuru itangaa gizani ndiye aliyeng'aa mioyoni mwetu. Atupe nuru ya elimu ya utukufu wa Mungu katika uso wa Yesu Kristo. For we preach not ourselves but Christ Jesus the Lord, ourselves your servants for Jesus sake. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness hath shined in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Anasema, he says, sisi as na unaposoma Biblia and when you read the Bible, wanaposema sisi sema mimi, say I not us. Sijihubiri mwenyewe. I don't preach about my Bali own. Christo, but Christ as the Lord. That Jesus Christ is the Lord. Sisi, akena nani? Who are we? Mimi si I, I don't preach about my own. But I'm preaching that Christ the Lord. Ndiye aliyenga moyoni mwangu. And the one who shined in my heart kwa kumwamini. Through believing in him. Na wewe ukimwamini Yesu. And should you believe in Jesus? Kwamba ni bwana. That is the Lord. Alifufua Lazarus. He resurrected Lazarus. Na dhambi hata kama ni yekundu. And even your sin is so. Anasema zitakuwa nyeupe. He says they'll be white. Ukikubali if you accept mtu amwamini bwana yesu one should believe in jesus atawakoka he will be saved ndio anasema katika korinthi warumi in romans ukimkiri yesu kuwa ni bwana once you confess jesus to be the lord na kuamini moyo wako kwamba mungu alimfufua kutoka wafu and believe in your heart that god is resurrected from, from death utawakoka you will be saved nani huyo who is that kila mwanadamu who any human being asemwe muhubiri ukiamini He doesn't say that you should preach on him. Every human being that will confess Jesus as the Lord moyoni. and believe in your heart that God resurrected him Uyo from death. That one, that one will be saved. That one will be saved. Muyahudi, Whether a Jew muyunani, or a Greek nani, anybody to be enabled in his heart ya to believe that Christo Christ is the Lord na moyoni amini, and believe in heart. In his heart, God resurrected him from death. Because tena. the one who is in the grave can no longer perform any sign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Aliye hai, the one who is alive, ishara, the one that is performing signs, should hivyo. be given to believe that way. Kila nafsi ya manadamu, Every soul of a human being hivyo. to be given to believe that way. Kwa jina That's why you, you kwa see when we pray Yesu for each other in Jesus' name receive. Mene. Because people have been given Na to believe. Una, una But people they believe in themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watu, Since you pray for people waombea, until you prayed for them. Wan, But they are still there full for Because they believe in themselves. Kweni, you prayed for them. But they believe in themselves. They need to share about their Awasikiwa issues. First. Mepata, they don't feel they are because they have they've not been enabled the gift to believe. Kweli, kweli, you say you've been prayed for, but you receive because you have this the same guided to apologize to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mehubiri, you preached hata umeomba, you prayed to and still they are coming for counseling. Nini? What is it? Badala ya kufurahia asante bwana Yesu kwa kunipa. Instead of joyful that Jesus thank you for saving me. Maana wanajiamini hao wenyewe. Because they believe in themselves. Kuna na kwao kuzuri maneno yao. In their way of sharing their counseling. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Katika kuna na kwao maneno yao. In the manner in which they share their issues. They don't put in faith. Wamenyang'anywa kwa cha imani. They've been denied the gift of faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ndio bwana Yesu akawauliza. That's why the Lord Jesus asked them. Je, mnaamini kwamba mimi you believe that I naweza kufanya hili? I'm able to do this. Wakasema na. They said yes, Lord. Kwa imani yenu mpate. Okay, through your faith receive. Kwa yangu mimi. Not because of my faith. Kwa hiyo mtu anapata kwa imani yake. So somebody received through his faith. Na imani ni kipawa cha Mungu. And the faith is a gift of God. Mtu hawezi kujivuna. You can't boast. Kwa hiyo kama ni kipawa cha Mungu. Because it's a gift of God. Muombeni Mungu. Let's pray to God. Ajalie kipawa hicho cha imani. To enable that gift of faith. Kila mwanadamu, every human being. Aliyemkiri kwa Yesu ni Bwana. Let us confess Jesus to the Lord. Ajalie kipawa cha imani. To be enable the gift Moyo of faith. Moyo waaminio. A heart that believes. Haleluya. Haleluya. Asiwe mtu mwenye kujitegemea kile zake. Not that one who depends on his understanding and his knowledge. 
right. You are offering to God. But you believe that God is a blesser. Not because of your offering. Zaka vizuri na sadaka vizuri. Arms tied, sacrifices. Na kuna Mungu. But you believe God. Ani sema ukimtumia tabaraka. Said when you serve, nimekuja leo, nimekuja kesho. Whether they come tomorrow. Hata kazi haribika, ona mimi ni kazi yangu. Work is spoiled. Na Mungu si dalimu, atafanya. God is not a respectful Lakini person. Lakini wana wanaotegemea haki zao. But those who depend on their rights. Akitoka hapo aone hajapata kile na kile. When he listens, doesn't see anything. Kwani je, ile sauti ile sikajuzi ilikuwa si ya Mungu. The voice I heard the other day was it from God truly? They depend on their knowledge. Ah, ile sauti ilikuwa si ya Mungu. The voice I heard was it from God truly? That told me to give that brother that and that. Why are my things not going well? The one who is moving in your shoes. Jesus the son of God. And he came from heaven to earth. While still sinners. So that he may save us. Not because of our rights. It is the gift of God. He never became because of our rights. He came to bless us. He came to save us. He came to sanctify us. From all iniquities. Not because of your rights. It is the gift of God. Let's stand up and pray to God. Hallelujah. Let's stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Kabisa. Truly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Read for us Ephesians. Amen. 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 Let's pray to God to enable his people, his church, everywhere that one has confessed to be enabled by the gift of God to believe that Christ is the Lord. As those ones say, yes, Lord, we believe through your faith, Patani. receive. Hallelujah. 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 Read for us. Ephesians 2:8. Kwa mana, mmeokolewa kwa nema, kwa njia ya imani, ambayo hiyo haikutokana na nafsi zenu ni kipawa cha Mungu. Wala si kwa matendo, mtu awaye yote asije akajisifu. Maana tu kazi yake tuliumbwa katika Kristo Yesu tutende matendo mema ambayo hutokea awali Mungu aliyatengeneza ali ili tuenende nayo for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast for we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them Amen. Amen. He says because we were saved through grace in the way of faith. In the way of faith. That which never came from our souls. The way of faith. It's not your soul. You can't create for your own. But the Lord God. Hallelujah. That hard to believe. You can't create for your own. But the Father God. In the way of faith. That's why they say. Yes Lord. Because Jesus. Had prayed for them in their heart. Enable these people to recover their sight. That I am Christ the Lord. And I am able. They were enabled that gift. And they said yes Lord. We believe that you are able. To do this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he told them. According to your faith. You receive. Their eyes recovered sight. You too you can be healed today. You you can receive what you want today. You can be healed today. Amen. Amen. Where you have not received, you have ne, not been enabled the gift of to receive that. You depend on your right. Let's close our eyes. 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 Mana hawajajaliwa kipawa cha imani ambapo kinatokana na Mungu baba si nafsi ya mtu moyo wa minio baba ni kipawa chako baba unampa kila uliyemuita jalia kila ndugu na dada bwana baba wa mbinguni kila uliyempa kukiliwe kuwa bwana mjaliwe baba moyo wa minio ambacho ni kipawa chako hakitokana na nafsi ya mwanadamu hakitokana na nafsi ya mwanadamu bali ni kipawa chako Umujalie kila mmoja kipawa cha imani. Eh Mungu Baba, 
Mungu wa Ibrahimu wa Isaka na Jacobo, Mungu wa Mishanari, mjalie kiramu moja, kipawa cha imani moyoni mwake, kuamini mwanao kwamba ni bwana, alitoa kaburini yuko hai ili waweze kuwa na kupinga shetani. Asante baba kwa kipawa hicho cha imani ambacho waenda kumumbia kiramu moja jioni ya leo, aliye hapa hata aliye nje, mkubwa kwa mdogo, wajana na hata wa miaka yote, umjalie kipawa cha imani ambacho akitokana na nafsi ya mtu maana wewe ulisema bwana unafanya kazi na waaminio na ni kipawa kinatoka kwako hatuwezi kujumbia wenyewe moyo huo wewe ndio uweze kutuumbia kumwamini mwanao kwamba ni bwana asante kutimiza asante kwa kipawa hicho hebu ndugu mpendwa dear blood brother eh hey, waweza kujiita wewe ni wasamani lakini so mbona pale hapofanyiki ishara why is the sign not happening pale mbona huoni wokovu you don't see salvation there pale mbona huoni mema you don't see any good anywhere mbona likija shida ile una wasiwasi why why when a problem comes Uuna to you you tremble you don't have the gift of you don't have the gift of faith ukasemaje even if you say mbona yesu anafanya kazi na waamini oh jesus is working together with us believe kazi why doesn't he work kwa lile in your area na kwa lile in your area too na kwa dikile in that anguish maana moyo wako because your heart haujajaliwa kipawa you've not been enabled the gift lakini jioni ya leo but this evening mwambie bwana yesu that the lord jesus nimetamboa kwamba i recognize that kweli ninakufuata wewe bwana yesu truly i'm following you jesus christ lakini but sioni ukifanya kazi pale na pale i don't see you working in my place maana sijapata kipawa cha imani because i've not got this gift of faith mungu nakusii god i beseech you create in me kipawa the gift cha kumwamini mwanao to believe in your son kwamba ni bwana that is the lord na wewe ulimfufua kutoka and you resurrected him from dead uko hai he's alive ili niweze kuingia so that he may get in kwa mema in good things asante Thank you. No kumwomba bwana Yesu. And once you pray to Jesus. Atafanya. He will work. Hebu tumuombe Let's mungu. pray to God. Baba asante. Mwenyezi Mungu wa mbingu na nchi. Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Katika mtumishi wako baba. Wewe uliita ndugu hawa ili ufanye kazi pamoja nao. Na wewe unafanya kazi na wale waamini. Na imani ni kipawa cha Mungu. Tunakuomba jioni ya leo baba. Utujalie hicho kipawa cha imani. Kumwamini mwanao kwamba ni Kristo. Na yeye ulimtoa kaburini. Moyo huo muumbie kila mmoja. Kila nafsi iumbike kuamini. Kila nafsi iumbike kuamini. Eh hey, Yesu mwana wa Mungu asante. Maana ulisema bwana ishara zinafuatana na wale waaminio wewe ulipigwa bwana kwa kupigwa kwako tupone ati ati ya dhambi uliifuta pale msalabani hakuna sile uwezekana kwako bwana na wewe unafanya kazi na wale waaminio wewe unafanya kazi bwana Yesu na wale waaminio jalia baba watu wako kipawa cha imani ambacho baba hiyo haitokana na nafsi ya mtu ni kipawa chako baba mjalie hey baba kila mkubwa kwa mdogo kipawa cha imani imani ambayo ni kipawa chako baba moyo wa aminio baba uumbike ndani ya kila mmoja Jalia baba kila mmoja moyo wa aminio ambayo ni kipawa chako Mungu hakuna awezaye kujiumbia mwenyewe moyo huo bali yeye uliye muita wewe ukamjalia kila mmoja ukubwa kwa mdogo baba moyo wa aminio ambayo ni kipawa chako wasikukiri wewe bure bali wakukiri na kuamini na ni kipawa chako bwana ni kipawa chako bwana Yesu kuamini ni kipawa chako bwana Yesu moyo wa aminio ni kipawa chako baba wa mbinguni ambacho naombia watu wako baba kama ulivyoombia kwa wale wakaamini ni asante bwana Yesu na kushukuru ni asante baba na kushukuru mfalme wa mbinguni na nchi Asante baba na kushukuru. 
falme wa mengonanchi. Kuna kutukuza baba. E mungu wa mwanzilishi. Ni asante. Kutukuzwe baba. Falme wa mengonanchi. Moyo wa milio baba. Ambacho ni kipa wachako. Hakuna mtu anayeweza kujumbia mwenyewe. Moyo wa uumbike ndani ya kila mmoja baba. Tusiwe yule anayejumbiri wenyewe. Bali Kristo kwamba we ni Bwana. Asante kutenda kutimiza baba. Kuunga kipawa hicho ndani ya mkubwa kwa mdogo. Kuamini moyoni kwamba we ni Bwana. Unaweza shida yake si kitu. Kuumbike moyo huo. Shetani anatisha watu wako. Shetani ametewa wasiwasi ndani ya watu wako bwana kwa sababu hawana kipawa cha kuamini. Asante baba wangu na kushukuru kwa kipawa hicho. Asante e Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako. Ninakutukuza baba wa kipawa hicho. Moyo wa milioni kipawa chako baba. Hakuna anayejumbia mwenyewe moyo huo. Moyo wenye hakika. Waaminio kwamba we ni Bwana. Kumuumbie kila mmoja. Hofu iwaondokee watu wako baba. Ni asante. E Mungu wa mwanzilishi. Ninakushukuru na kutukuza baba. Mfalme wa mingu na nchi ni asante. Kwa moyo wa minio ambao ni kipawa chako asante kutumbia sote. Asante mungu wetu. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Madua nana atupaye manuwa yote. Do you know who is giving us all this one? God of the founder through this prayer of his servant. Hallelujah. I never knew that I'll preach that. Amen. He knows that beyond their God will guide you. So when you are given to read the list, what God wants from you, when I read about being saved, meaning salvation is there. You, in fact, you feel being saved too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because one is there who is our Father, the servant of God, is praying for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's close our eyes. And Pastor Msololo to close the service with a word of prayer. Babu uliona watu wako mungu. Tumepungukiwa na hiyo imani ya kwanza bwana. Kili kipoicha imani kimetoweka baba. Ndiyo mana roo wako mtakatifu familia. Nina shukuru kwa kila moja baba ali kuja mbele sako. Bwana tumekulilia. Bwana tumekuomba. Kwa ma mungu karegeshe chukipawa. Cha imani e mungu. Mana tuwa wakole wako wa neema. Wala si matendo yetu mema baba. Lakini uliona kwa mba miweni mwetu. Tumejiinua mungu kuona ya kwamba sisi tunajua ni kwa uweso wetu, ni kwa nguvu zetu, ni kwa akili zetu. Lakini mungu menena na shukuru baba kwa kila moja. Ali kuja mbele sako baba. Aka kuomba na shukuru. Mana umesime watu wako. Mana umeponya kanisa lako baba. Na kutoka sasa mungu umemuaga hichu kipawa. Bwana cha imani umeregesha mungu hichu kipawa cha imani kutoka sasa. Bwana kule kukuwa mini ya kwa mbo litoka kaburini na kwa mba yeni Yesu Kristo. Mwana mungu walie hai na shikru mokozi kwa ajile neno hilo. Na shikru mokozi kwa ajile ujumbe huo baba na angalea mokozi. Tulianza pamoja nawe. Ninaragishi ibade mikono ni mwako baba. Niki ya mini ya kwa mba mokozi utatufumwa kwa mani. Mwana alienena ujumbe huu. Nina kusihi baba. Ndo kamuzirishie. Mwana nyumba ya mazirishi wako. Ndo kaziri kifunika. Na nyumba ya mtumishi wako baba. Kaifuniki vile vile. Na usima kamili mungu. Ukaziri kumpaye mokozi. Mwana fumu watu kwa mani. Wakata fakarano hilo. Mwana tukia mkapo kesho. 
tutakuja mbele zako na kusema asante nimeomba hayo tena kiamini umesikia na umetenda baba na katika jina la Yesu mwokozi wetu amen amen asante baba wa mbinguni amen Mungu wa mwanzo wetu awabariki sana 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 amen Benini, mumba wangu.